Hi, first graders. Welcome to Knowledge 2, Lesson 3, Marvelous Moving Muscles. Our first vocabulary word is involuntary. Say involuntary. Involuntary means done without choice or thought. The next word is voluntary. Say voluntary. Voluntary means it's done by choice. And the last one is tendons. Say tendons. Tendons are tough tissues that connect muscle to bone. Okay, so everybody has very many muscles in their body, but there is one very important muscle that is necessary for life or for living. If that one muscle were to stop working, you would not be able to live. Let's predict what we think the name of that muscle might be. Right, let's find out what it is. Hi everybody, it's Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, back to talk about the human body. Did you figure out what you're going to talk about this time? That's right, muscles. Your muscles help your body move so you can walk, breathe, swallow, speak, and do many other things. Together, your muscles make up your muscular system. There are 650 muscles in your body. Some muscles are big, like the ones in your legs. Some are small, like the ones in your face. Muscles crisscross the body so that you can move in many different ways. Muscles move by contracting or getting shorter and then relaxing and getting longer. Tendons are part of your muscular system too. Feel behind your knee. There are some strong, rope-like bands under the skin. They are called tendons. Tendons are cords that attach your muscles to your bones. The muscles that move your bones are called your skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles. That is because you control them with your brain and by thinking. Pretend that you are throwing a ball. Your brain tells your arm muscles to move back first and then move forward. At the same time, your brain is telling your hand muscles when to grasp the ball and when to let it go. Two muscles often work together in a pair to move bones. Touch the top of your upper arm. That is where your bicep muscle is found. Now touch the underside of your arm. That is where the tricep muscle is located. When you threw that pretend ball just now, the bicep muscles bent your elbow and the triceps straightened your elbow. The muscles on your hand and arm work together in many ways as well. They help you make tiny exact movements like picking up a crumb off of a table. And they are there for you too when you need great strength like doing a handstand. The most movable part of your hand is your thumb. Try wiggling yours. It can move in many different directions, more than any of your other fingers. There are many muscles in your face, mostly attached to your skin. Do you know what you need? Or did you know that you need muscles to help you laugh, frown, or even raise your eyebrows? I can't really do it. <laughs> All the muscles we've talked about so far are voluntary, meaning again that you have to decide when to move them. Other muscles in your body are involuntary. That means that you don't have to think about these muscles to move them. They do it automatically. Involuntary muscles keep your blood flowing and your food moving through your body. Think about these two actions your body does, kicking a ball and blinking your eyes. Which do you think is voluntary and which do you think is involuntary? Hmm. Well, the voluntary one would be kicking a ball because it's something you have to think about in your brain. And blinking your eyes would be involuntary because it's something that your body just does automatically without you having to think. Do you have to tell your heart to beat or does it work automatically on its own? Your heart is another kind of involuntary muscle does it on its own. It's called a cardiac muscle. This thick, powerful muscle contracts and relaxes over and over and over again on its own without stopping. It pumps blood all around your body once every minute. Your heart is a very important muscle that is necessary for your body to live. 
Do you want to know which muscle is the largest muscle in your body? Here's the hint, you are probably sitting on it right now. It's your gluteus maximus or your buttock mus muscle, which means your butt. <laughs> you have two of them, one on each side. Now, since our time together is coming to a close for today, here is a goodbye rhyme from Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician. That's me. Well, it's actually her. I'm glad that I have muscles. They help me to have fun, to jump and kick a soccer ball, to smile and speak and run. I'm glad that I have muscles, and I'm glad that you do too, so you can wave goodbye to me, and I can wave to you. When we meet next time, we'll have a lot to chew on. That's a clue to what body system we'll be learning about. Can you guess what it is? Hmm. See you again soon. All right, first graders, you can click on your Google form and answer your questions about today's listening and learning story.